Hi everyone, welcome to another Journalist Toolbox AI Quick Study. My name is Mike Riley, the founder of Journalist Toolbox AI. And today we're going to look at some of the tools from Chapter 1 uh, that will help you with uh, reporting. These are things you can implement into your reporting process right away. Uh, and uh, away we go. Uh, Journalist Toolbox.ai website, by the way, uh, has all kinds of different uh, resources in here for you. Uh, uh, transcription and audio tools, some of which we'll work with uh, today. Um, uh, ethics resources, image creation, which we'll play with uh, in some of our later chapters, all kinds of stuff, including training videos uh, as well. Um, so take advantage of this free resource. It's an extension of this book, Journalist Toolbox.ai. So let's take a look at our first tool here. This is THS, THSRS.com, the shorter thesaurus. So if you go to THSRS.com, uh, you can enter a word in here, uh, and this tool is very helpful for writing headlines, uh, both uh, print and online. So I can type in you know, the word terminate in here and hit look up. And it gives me synonyms, but only synonyms that are shorter than the word I typed in. So if you're only looking for shorter words, you know, maybe you have a tight headline count. In print, maybe you have a one column, four deck, uh, you know, 24 point headline. That's a very tight fit. You need to use, you know, your words economically and, and uh, really have short, tight words. So instead of typing terminate, you put end or stop, or, you know, depending on the context, whatever uh, word you want to use there. Um, it works, you know, uh, you, you know, not just for, you know, one or two words, but, you know, you can just keep running stuff through there and it'll uh, uh, give you the shorter synonyms. Um, take advantage of this tool. It's also helpful for SEO driven headlines. Um, if you're, uh, you know, trying to keep your headline tight, you know, to 75 characters or less so it doesn't get cut off, uh, you know, when the headline shows up in Google, you, this is definitely a good uh, tool uh, to do that. So THSRS, the shorter thesaurus. Another good tool for editors uh, and, and writers as well is one called Lose the Very um, and uh, LoseTheVery.com. Uh, so if you go to LoseTheVery.com, you'll get that little welcome page there. Uh, a lot of ads on this tool, uh, but it's a great free tool. Um, I work with a lot of young writers and they tend to use a lot of adverbs and adjectives. Uh, they like the word very a lot. Uh, so I always tell students, I flag this in their writing, I say instead of saying very smart, what else can you say? So I have them go to losetheberry.com, uh, type this in, and then hit the refresh, and it gives you words that you should probably use, be using instead. Um, you can make suggestions in here, too, of words to add uh, to this uh, uh, particular phrase. Um, so, you know, you can uh, add another word in here if you don't see it appear, um, which is great. It's a little bit of crowdsourcing there. So losethevery.com is really good uh, to turn young writers onto this uh, and, and kind of use it to self-correct. Okay, another good tool, Descript.com. Descript is a tool uh, that allows you to edit audio. Um, you can edit video in here too. Um, you can create audiograms where you add uh, images and things like that in there. Um, I use it for a transcription tool uh, when I'm not uh, using otter.ai. Uh, I can use Descript, and Descript does one thing that Otter doesn't do. It allows me to embed the text right into the post, as well as play it on audio, so it'll play through word for word as we go along. It's incredibly uh, accurate, this tool. Um, you can go in and edit it, too, uh, in, uh, in Descript. Uh, it, has, it comes both as a browser-based version, as you see here. You can also download software uh, and edit on your desktop as well. Uh, if you want a little more private workspace, you've got uh, workspaces over here. It says uh, Mike's Drive and then private workspace if you don't want people to be able to see or, or hear the audio you're working with. Um, really easy tool to use. You just hit new project, upload the audio uh, or video. You can, try, you can strip the audio out of a video uh, and then uh, you know, export it. Uh, and uh, it gives you embed code and links uh, that you can share uh, the audio with. Great little tool. Um, Otter.ai, which we talk about quite a bit in chapter one, um, fantastic tool. I'm using it to transcribe uh, the uh, audio uh, from these training videos, so uh, we have it for closed captioning. Um, Otter.ai comes as a phone, free phone app, uh, as well as a desktop app. Uh, just create an account uh, for free. Uh, you get up to 600 free minutes uh, on there, and uh, you know, that's a long time, so you can transcribe a lot of audio per month. Uh, that's 600 minutes per month. 
Um, you can uh, load audio in it two ways. You can import uh, directly into it. You can just uh, have an audio file and hit import and, and go pull it off your uh, desktop or drag and drop it in there. Uh, or you can record directly into it. So I can hit the record button here uh, and it'll start to pick up uh, and record directly uh, into it. Um, as you can see here, some of the words are uh, a little off. Um, so you always need to go in and edit anything you know, that you use with AI uh, and machine learning, which is you know, what this tool uses uh, to run uh, its uh, transcriptions. Uh, really, really good accuracy on it, but again, you want to edit everything very closely. Also, if you're in a pinch, uh, Google Docs, if you go in and type in docs.new, it'll open a Google Doc for you. Uh, it, has a it has a feature called voice typing um, that uh, if you're you know in a pinch and you don't have time to open Otter or Descript and, and get it going, uh, maybe you're, you're just doing a quick interview with somebody, type in docs.new in your browser window. It'll open this document, turn on tools, go down to voice typing right here uh, and hit the little microphone. Uh, and this will activate uh, Google's version uh, of otter.ai and will transcribe the audio directly into your uh, Google Doc. Um, I often use this as a backup in interviews when I'm interviewing somebody on Zoom. Uh, I can always uh, export the transcript directly out of Zoom, but I use this as a backup just in case it cuts off anything or I miss anything. Uh, I've got a backup here. So those are a few quick and dirty tools uh, that we can take and use uh, in our daily reporting. So hope you found this useful.